Hey YouTube, good to see you again. Adam here, uh, coming to you once again from the backyard here in South Central Michigan, as I have been for the last couple of days. It is hot and sunny today, just got off work, and um, it was actually raining all day, but now the sun is out and it is hot. Um, you know why we're here, uh, but maybe you don't. If you don't, uh, Kolhaza and Kopp came out with six new blends, new in the United States, um, that are all Caribbean themed, tropical flavors, that sort of thing. And um, I wanted to try them all. So I bought them all and I'm reviewing all six in six days. This is day number five. Um, so tomorrow's the last one and then I'll do like a tier list thing, either tomorrow or the day after, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, the way that I'm doing this is I have a unopened tin here and I have a fresh little mini cob to taste it with. I'm going to open it up. Uh, I'm going to smoke it and I'm going to tell you what I think. That's how we're doing this. So let's do it. I've got my trusty butter knife here to open this tin. Oh, by the way, <laughs> this is Graham. Uh, the flavors that we're supposed to get out of this are as follows. Coconut. So the first one that has, that has had coconut cane sugar, blackberry, and nut. Not a particular nut, just nut in general, I guess. Uh, and as with the others, it is a Danish aromatic mixture. So let's give it a whirl. I'm intrigued by the coconut and the cane sugar. All right. <sighs> let's see. We need another winner. We had, we've had one really good one. Um, and some that are okay, and one that was not good. I'm ready for another banger. Here we go. Ooh. I haven't even put it up to my face yet, and I can tell you, the blackberry, yep, I smell blackberry. Oh, that smells good. That smells really good. That is blackberry like juicy, succulent jam, blackberry jam. Oh, a little bit of coconut, but not much. Cane sugar, I, what's the smell of sugar? It's gonna be in the flavor and the sweetness. And nut, I don't know. That probably will also come through in the smoke. Oh, but wow, does that smell good. Okay, um, as always, it's just a thing. And as always, it says to us, ahoy, ahoy yourself. All right, <clears throat> let's get the paper off. This is fun. Uh, we're back to lots of it sticking to the paper. And this is a little bit more moist than the others have been. In fact, I'd say this is the, the moistest. Um, oh, and interestingly, Right on top is what appears to be broken flake. And there's broken flake throughout this, which is interesting actually because it says Danish aromatic mixture. It doesn't say loose cut like the others did. Um, and there's quite a few, well, there's a gnarly stem in there too. Um, but yeah, like this is uh, obviously a broken flake. Okay, uh, visually there's nothing else notable in here besides the broken flake pieces. Give it another smell. Oh, that smells really good. I, I want to smoke this. I, I want to get to it. I already showed you this. Yep. Um, I have high hopes. I actually have to break up the little flakes, which is a good sign. I like flake tobacco a lot. It's probably my favorite presentations. I like the pressed stuff. I'm excited by this one. It smells really, really good. Okay, there we are. Load it up. Get the paper back on. Hope that you're all doing well today, by the way. It's Friday. Best day of the week. All right, Solstice on. Give this a whirl. 
Don't fail us, Graham. Oh yeah, that is sweet. Like actually sweet, not like, oh, that's sweet. It tastes sweet. All right, chemical uh, is back, as we got with most of the others. Just getting that initial topping burnt off. Yeah, pretty good. Let's do a true light here. Oh yeah. Mm hmm That's tropical. Mm. So what are we what are we tasting here? It's not as strong uh, in flavor in blackberry as the tin note was. But it's definitely still there. I mean, the tin note was really blackberry. Not getting a lot of coconut, um, but this is sweet, which must be the cane sugar that's in it, which also means that it's kind of burning hot. So I suspect I'll have a tingly tongue. Maybe a little bit nutty, but that's definitely like the least prevalent flavor in here. That berry is really nice. It's not too much, it's just sort of a hint now. Ooh, that's pretty nice to say. Let's see what the retro hill has in store. More nuttiness, like sort of a burly nuttiness. Yeah, I think it's interesting. It, it's sort of changing, as others have done. Because now, it's sort of like a, I feel like I'm smoking a burly. With a little bit of fruit. No coconut to speak of. And it is hot. I'm getting, getting a little bit of tongue bite. But I'm also smoking it in this tiny little unfiltered thing, so it's a high-risk situation anyway. Mm. Very fruity in the uh, as much outdoor note as I can pick up. This would be a, I'm sure this would be spouse approved. Mm. Hey, this is pretty nice. All right, well, I'm gonna keep smoking this as I have for all the others. And there's one more left. So tomorrow we're gonna get the last one of these blends reviewed and I'll just do it all in one video, last blend, and then I'll give you my tier list right away. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.